Welcome to the very first episode of Rune Labs, our new monthly series where we'll be taking a look at everything Rune Labsy. Whether it's following updates through production, crashing meetings, or revealing the next month's criteria, this is the place where you'll find all of the latest info. It's been an amazing first month with over 16,000 ideas submitted and an amazing 105,000 votes cast. You've pulled out all the stops delivering some great ideas and some not so great. Some of our biggest brains, or whoever was free at the time, have been meeting daily and spending hours reading through your suggestions and came to a very important decision. So, here's Mod Kelpie to give you all the details. For January, we asked for a medium-sized project. Once we enabled supporting, a lot of smaller ideas dominated the most supported list. As these were all doable projects, we felt like we should leave them open this is player power, and particularly for the first month, if players are asking for smaller projects, then we feel like we should listen to them. We set aside the time to do a medium project. As the top ideas are all smaller in nature, we feel like we'll definitely be able to do two of these. Taking several smaller ideas instead of one larger one is something we might see more of in the future. However, as we have said in the past, we want a good mix of different projects coming out of Rune Labs. So in the future, we might see criteria that state that we will only select a medium-sized project or a medium to large. The two winning options will be decided by a player power poll. This is live right now in game and will be until Thursday the 12th of February. So, there you have it. You won't be seeing just one update from this month's criteria, but two, you lucky, lucky people. Well, what are your choices going to be? As the self-proclaimed guardians will be working on this update, we thought who better to take us through the shortlist and maybe even tell us which ones he's most excited about than RuneScape's biggest mouth. Over to you, Osborne. We've got five updates that have made their way to you player power poll this month. And that includes a farming timer that was submitted by Hey Bowler. This will allow you to view the status of your farming patches at a distance. Next, we have the Slayer Belt, which is submitted by Dragon Seed. This is kind of a tool belt for Slayer, so you'll never forget items when you're in combat. Feels like we've been waiting ages for the next one, which is Adamant and Runite Dragons. That was submitted by Dragon Force A, and that's going to bring you new combat dragons, but also new dungeons. For story players looking for more achievements to hunt, we have the trimmed quest point cape. That's come from Aisho Kurone, and that'll ask you to complete sagas, mini quests, and post quest activities to get this new cape. Last but not least, there's a frustration that a lot of people have with their grand exchange offers. This is an idea that's come from X Luida, and it involved editing those offers without aborting them. I'm a big fan of all of the options, but if I had to pick one that I like the most, I'd probably say the Adamant and Runite Dragons. That gives us the opportunity to explore that kind of spiral staircase in Brimhaven Dungeon, get down there, offer new combat targets, and maybe it reveals something about the Dragonkin. So, that's our beloved Osborne's favourite, but which is yours? The polls are live now, so get your head in the game to make your choice and help decide RuneScape's next update. And remember, it's not just the game that's seeing your ideas come to life. The RuneLab site is constantly evolving to make it easier for you to find suggestions. And that's starting with random ordering making its way onto the overview page. This will give everyone's ideas an equal chance of being seen and soon after that we'll be including the much requested search feature. Well, that's almost it for the first episode of Rune Labs, but before they send me back to my desk, I get to reveal next month's criteria. Drum roll, please! Next month we'll be looking for a small update. So that means things like let them eat pie and skill chompers. If you think you've got the winning idea, Pop it on the site and start building your support. See you next time!